Outsider? Enter, please. Yanatum, remove incense for comfort. And pour the simple teas. We are honored. Don't burden the woman, Five Tongue. She looked unburdened. I am Bas Tongue. This is my tea house. Forgive my son. May we start anew as the spring? There's nothing to forgive. I thought the welcome was very kind. Yes, thank you. Most the others, this woman is a friend of a good friend. I will share her time. We'd like to see the city, if you don't mind. Maybe look up some friends in the diplomatic service. Don't worry. The family won't bother us, and no one else suspects. Living with these creatures for five years earns some credibility. And that's either quite a disguise, or your boss yourself. Our employers surgically altered me to look like the real Bass Tom. The only way to infiltrate a closed society. I got to know my family, raise children, kiss my wife. I don't care how exotic they look, their breath always smells like my knock dung. It's some spice in the blasted food. Aside from their breath, is there anything else you've noted? I know their tics and their customs. More about their tea than I thought possible. Problem is, they're stagnant. A tea house owner is a tea house owner for life. The real politics are above my station. I can see why you haven't drawn attention. So, what's the word? My orders were to find you a lead on Albathias, a human who showed up a few years ago. Voss called him the Shining Man. Where he came from is a mystery, but it only took him five weeks to go from outsider to practically Voss. Went through a dozen rites to earn their respect, knew their culture inside and out, knew their politics, textbook infiltration, impossibly perfect. Craft is one thing, but you make it sound like he worked miracles. Other people tried what he did, went through Voss initiations. At best, they got a pat on the head, like a pet learning a trick. The Shining Man was something different. The Voss believed in him, and he played them perfect. Then he died peacefully, buried with honors. No one's touched the case much since, so if you want to learn what the Shining Man was up to, you've got a nasty job. Start with the tomb. What does died peacefully mean? It means he went to his home in Vos Car one night and didn't wake up. Heart condition, they said. Tombs at the base of the mountain, holiest place anon Vos can be interred. Predators keep the area clear these days. If you want to go in as a pilgrim, I've left clothes and instructions at a dead drop. Give me a call once you're in. Theraton returns at sunset. Our family must prepare a welcome. We will speak again. You are holding a verse outfit, part of the pilgrim's ritual to the Shining Man's tomb. Best way to avoid drawing unwanted attention. Tradition says the pilgrim is supposed to collect ceremonial offerings from the seeker's path. That'll be your first stop. Then the tomb itself. Just watch out for the subhumans. The Voss call them Gormak. But all you need to know is that they're vermin with blasters. Hey, Agent. Take a look at this. Where is she? I, I don't know. How would I know? Kaleo Janus and her Twi'lek associate were seen attacking exchange resources on Nar Shaddaa. Should I believe you wouldn't seek revenge? I want her last known location, and I want it now! I love it. Listen to that little tremor in his voice. He's adorable. He does say your name with fondness. Ijel and I go way back. As soon as I show my face, he starts torturing people to track me down. He's been obsessed ever since we split up on Farstein. For an arms dealer, he's kind of sweet. Makes me feel wanted. Where did that holovid even come from? Hey, you've got plenty of sources. 
I've got a few too. And one's close to each other. Of course, if he really does find me, he might be dangerous. After all we've been through, can I trust you to help me? If we can't rely on each other, who else is there? Isn't that the truth? I'll keep you in the loop. Next recording gets out, we can watch it together. If you can guess who's been talking to Nemro the Hutt, you owe me a drink. From your tone, I'd say I'm looking at her. Bingo. If you don't have a bottle on you, I'll take my prize in cash. Me and the Crime King were wrapping up some old business, long story. But he let slip something interesting. Remember Yuzhal, my arms dealer comes stalker? He's been touching base with a lot of guys I used to work with, Nemro included. Why were you talking to the hut exactly? Don't get all possessive. Here's the point. Now that Yuzhal's tipped his hand, some of my other ex-partners, the ones with grudges, they figure they need to hit me before Yuzhal does. We're talking people who should have moved on years ago. Guess I left a mark. You do have a way with people. What should we expect? I'm not gonna make a list, but... First example who comes to mind? Card shark named Todd Eagle. Not a lot of guts, but he was rich and cute. We lived the high life until I broke his heart. Then he'll hire some sleaze bag to find me. Todd Eagle. Card shark. Any other names? Told you about your jaw, roll. Nemo and I are good. I'll let you know if anything else turns up. We might actually have to do something about this. I have learned to access your culture's holographic network. Listen. Eighteen trillion desperate attempts to communicate per second. I hadn't realized your species were so starved for interaction. What have you discovered, sifting through those transmissions? I now understand your frustrations. I look at you and see neurons fire in your brain. I scan your body and know how you taste. But you are blind, alone, and confused. If you're so far beyond biological creatures, what's the point of analyzing them? You dominate the galaxy. I am curious, and do not sleep. Our time together has provided new information and sensations. These will prove useful in a future upgrade. Cypher, join us. Vector and I were just discussing Moff Letshara. We never met her, of course. Quite fortunate there. But Vector did know her husband, a, a fine Dejaric player and a scribe of the Ilfmar Gambit. We apparently share the Doctor's taste in theatre. By all means, continue. I wouldn't want to take your time, but Master Vector, we should talk again. Of course, Doctor. Your crew members are delightful people. For instance, did you know Mistress Kaleo is fluent in Kalish profanities? A rare and admirable skill. I wonder how you manage them. Leadership is such a delicate thing. You sound like you've thought about this. I confess it had crossed my mind. A dead or alienated colleague is a resource lost, and in our business, it's a small step from being disliked to being blacklisted. Alienate enough people and you find yourself running unauthorized missions on a dead planet. Quite. I could tell you stories. But I'm afraid I have to attend to my data analysis program. Another time, Cypher. You said you wanted to talk? Yes, sir. Ensign Rena Temple, formerly of the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force, reporting for combat drills. I can show you a few things. What brings this on? Frankly, I need the practice. No one ever taught me covert maneuvers. If you've got time... Grab your equipment. I'll find a private spot. Thank you, sir. Alright. I think I've sweat enough for one day. Any last words of wisdom for your freshly transferred ensign? Never let anything distract you. No one can compensate for your errors. I'm confident it isn't so dire, but I take your point. You know, my father used to come home from exercises freshly scarred. I was 12 before I realized his training drills were intelligence operations. He was captured twice, 
but he wouldn't let me worry, no matter how bad it got. I didn't know your father was part of intelligence. I thought I'd mentioned it. He was a cipher. Thank you for the lesson. A few more and I'll be infiltrating enemy camps with the best of them. My good friend, allow an old man some sentiment and join me for a reminiscence. Today is the 13th anniversary of the death of Cypher 12, one of the finest agents I've ever worked with. I've never heard of a Cypher 12. They don't mention our predecessors much. Our history is fleeting, to say the least. Cypher 12 was one of the old guard from before the war. He cultivated allies on the fringes. By the time he received his Mandalorian brands, He'd also become verbally abusive in private, but he never cracked on the job. Always had a smile. Were you partners? I was technical advisor on several of his assignments, and we shared a taste in Miri Allen cuisine. Eventually the odds caught up with him, and a Hapani royal assassin punctured his lungs. Inevitable, really. Are you aware how few ciphers survive past year five? The odds aren't good for any of us. Quite so. I admire the line you walk between obedience and ingenuity. Unfortunately, your methods breed enemies. Be careful not to end up without recourse. You chose to join my crew. If you didn't like my methods, you could have found a way out by now. What are you after? I've made it through a very long career by choosing my partners wisely. I've outlasted them all, and I intend to keep doing so. Sir, since our combat session went so well, I thought we might try something else. Lessons in interpersonal manipulation and information extraction. Lecture one entitled... Once they think they need you, they'll tell you anything. Descriptive name, sir. Is it always about need? When I first arrived at Zero Station, no one trusted me. I was the human Imperial who must have been a spy. But I learned my way around, and once the Chiss accepted my competence, it was easy to make friends. That's one of your strengths. People like you, and you can use that. So suppose we're separated during an operation against pirates, say. How does your hand-trained operative play it? You blend into the background and wait for an opportunity. Don't stir the pot unless you know what you're in for. I'll happily leave that to you, then. I don't know what you think of my potential, sir, but I do appreciate your guidance. I've been deceiving people like an amateur for years. Time I started doing it right. My body requires improvement. You will provide a workshop and equipment aboard your ship. I'm willing to entertain requests. When I protected Mega Security Ward 23, Belsifus Prison served as an extension of my immobile body. Now I must adapt for independent operation. This frame will be upgraded with physical enhancements, along with updated behavioral analysis capabilities and social programming. Isn't changing your own software risky? I am designed to iterate on functionality. I find the hunter-prey dynamic that suffice on Bill Savas less useful in a broader galactic environment. I now require social and physical flexibility. You understand. You're growing as a person. Yes. My repertoire of effective interactions will increase. My appreciation for your species will not. I will proceed with the upgrades. I only asked as a courtesy. We toured the tombs of Pengilan, but they were nothing like this. And all built for a lie. A conspirator. <laughs> Gaston, I am in position. Nothing in the sarcophagus but dust and a scroll. Dust? No way the body decayed that fast on its own. Send me a high-res image and bring the scroll back. Dust sample too. We'll see what analysis turns up. I'll head back to the tea house. I'll save a seat for you. <laughs> 